So, you guys want to win yourself an Ecotech Vector S1. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dues. I'm really excited because I teamed up with Ecotech Marine to give away a Vectra S1 pump. Now, these are wicked little pumps and they're very small but mighty. At only three and a half by six inches, you can fit them in a lot of the all-in-one tanks and smaller systems without an issue. Tight spaces, this guy is perfect for, you know, your return line feeding manifolds. If you want to run it as a closed loop pump, you want to hide all your power heads. You can do all the same modes you can with the MP10s, MP40s, MP60s, pulse all your stuff. So really cool, versatile little pumps. Now don't let a small size fool you. You can do up to 1400 gallons per hour and up to 11 and a half feet of head. So this guy packs a punch for this tiny little pump. Now one of the really cool features, one of my personal favorite, is the controller for it actually has a battery backup port built in. So it's really easy to hook it up and have that kind of redundancy and not worry about power outages, something that could potentially kill your tank. Flow is the heart of your system. And super easy to have that battery backup. So really, really cool feature that I absolutely love about all of the Ecotech pump lineup. You really want to step things up. If you use an Ecotech Reeflink, you do all kinds of cool stuff like voice commands through Alexa. You can also have it send you alerts if there's an issue with the pump or something's abnormal. Or you can program all the different modes right from your phone. So super, super cool. Pull up the app, start feed mode, you have Alexa, you can do 100% through voice. So really, really cool. So let me show you a few of these fun little features. Oh, wait, wait, but first, do you guys actually want to know how the Vector S1s are made? Just kidding, they're actually made in a factory. Or are they? Hmm. Oh yeah. Hey Jess, activate feed mode. All right. Bad, not bad. Alexa, tell EcoSmart Live to start feed mode. Okay, your pumps are now in feed mode. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's a ton of really cool stuff you can do with this pump, conventional or not so much. But what I really want to know is what are you going to do with your Vectra? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to win one, which I know you do, check out the description below. Make sure you guys subscribe, click that link in the description, and enter away. And we'll find out who the winner is in a couple of weeks. Good luck, guys. Haha, <laughs> what is going on, guys? Yes, that was my pre-recorded video. Um, basically, when I was running the contest, it showed everyone's personal information on the thing. So I pre-ran it and got to select 25 random entries and I copied and pasted those onto the wheel of death. Um, basically, I didn't want all, everyone's address or emails, all that stuff on there. So the 25 names that it randomly picked are now on the wheel and we are going to do the draw and see who can actually win. Um, half you guys, I don't necessarily know what your usernames relate to your real name, so it's hard to say who's on there. On the re-phone, we have Mr. Jay from Ecotech Marine. How's it going today, Jay? Great, Devin. How's it going with you? Wonderful, thank you. First of all, Jay, thank you for, you know, helping making this happen, and I'm sure everyone out there is excited to the potential possibility to win one of these amazing pumps. Yeah, no worries. Our pleasure. Awesome. All right. Are you ready? Start spinning this wheel. Oh, snap. I'm on there. Excellent. I love it. I love when people are actually on there in the chat. It's way more fun. Okay. Elimination style. It's going to be last man standing. So every time we spin this wheel, it's going to take a name off the list until there's only one left. And who's ever left is taking this baby home. And for once, this is actually more of a worldwide contest. I know a lot of the guys in Europe and stuff are always like, we're left out today. You guys are in too. Look at that beautiful S1. That baby's going to be yours. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this, okay? Okay, let's get some music going, too, for fun. A little dramatic effect. Okay, first spin on the wheel. 
And Eric is out of there. Sorry, Eric. Next spin. Dun, dun, dun. Pavel. Sorry, Pavel. All right, guys. In it to win it. Oh, Paul, already off. Oh, G. Carroll, that was quick. <laughs> Farewell, Chris. <laughs> One spin winner. Nope. It'd be way too quick. It'd be like a two second live stream. I gotta draw it out a little bit. Need a little suspense for you guys. It's a good prize. Gotta make it suspenseful. Ah, oh, John. Out of there. <laughs> oh, J oh, Jacob. Sorry, Jacob. You know I'm Canadian, I like apologize every person was eliminated. It's like, oh, sucker. <laughs> and Spencer's out of there. And Oscar. Bye, Oscar. <laughs> Still in it. Excellent. Aw, oh, Jim. Sorry, Jim. Hopefully everyone's having an excellent lunchtime for me. I don't know if it is for you guys, but... And oh, Chris, farewell, Chris. Was that you, Pink Punisher? Were you, Chris? <laughs> uh, Sergey, farewell, Sergey. Dance because I made it this long. That that was a good a good valiant effort. <laughs> Benny, sorry, Benny. Oh, sorry, Jason. <laughs> and Seth down. I'm in here. I'm in here. Oh, we'll count one of stops next time. Oh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine left. Eight ish, probably. Sanad. Yep. Oh, Rebecca. Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> Farewell, Alexander. Good effort. It's coming down to the end. Matt. Farewell, Matt. Good effort, good effort. I needed to have people's YouTube names on this. I actually know who's who. <laughs> Christian. Sorry, Christian. All right. We're only a few left here, guys. The pressure's on. Jake. Farewell, Jake. Oh, travels in the stream. Oh. The travel. Yeah. Nice. Any chance to be Q&A with Jay? I'm sure we can steal a few minutes with him after. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Jamie. Sorry, Jamie. And, and, ah, uh, farewell, Sean Holmes. Two left. Who's it gonna be? We got Johnson, and I can't read the other name in the shadow. Oh, ah, oh, Travels. Travel Gamer. Ah, uh, no, Travels off. Yep, yeah. two left. Here we go. Who's Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Cave On. And the last one is, is, is Johnson, Johnson Chow, I think. Congratulations, Johnson Chow. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I will have to send, reach out to you after this and get your shipping info. Congrats, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Travel. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Travel Gamer, you were in it to the end. Yep, and uh, Jay, I will send you his information after this one. Congratulations, Johnson. Woo! Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, it was pretty good odds. I think there was just shy of 300 people in there, so still not bad odds. Now, you're asking for a little bit of a Q&A. Congratulations, Johnson, first of all. I'm just going to leave your name up there. Just be proud. Be like, yes, what it. Um, if you're in the stream, let me know. If you're not in the stream, I'll have to figure out what your actual YouTube name is, just because... Real names and YouTube names are two different worlds to be here. <laughs> Congrats, sad claps. Johnson! 
Oh, I don't think he's in here. That's sad. I wish someone that was in here won. It's more fun that way. Alright, Q&A with Jay Willie's on. What do you got for questions? Yeah, go ahead. What do you got? Let me know what you got, guys. Great giveaway. Thank you, SC Reefer. Much appreciated. Uh, at Ecotech Marine, care to comment anything new coming out? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everybody's favorite question. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, we, uh, we typically start rolling stuff out around this time of year, so um, I would think you'll probably see an announcement or two in the next, within the next month, actually. We're in August now, right? So. It's coming. Yeah, this month you might see something uh, new and exciting. Oh, that's awesome. So, so good stuff's and, coming out. Uh, yeah, we've been hard at work here actually for a while now, so uh, I'm pretty excited to see some of the stuff roll out. Some of the coolest stuff is actually going to be related to um, user interface, which hmm. will be uh, a lot of pretty much all of the existing hardware will be able to participate in it as well. So. Um, that should be a valuable added, uh, nice value added for all of you guys who use our equipment currently. Um, uh, beyond that, unfortunately, <laughs> I can't say a whole lot, but yep. you will not have to wait long at all, I assure you. Well, I'm excited. I always love seeing uh, the new stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty much an Ecotech fanboy because I have half your products in my tank. <laughs> so I'm already excited to know what's coming out. So I'm, I'm super know curious. The secret too about how the, uh, how the S1s are made. <laughs> you guys just learned that. <laughs> Little candlelight, couple M1s get together. So the L1s made the M1s and the M1s make the S1s. Kind of like a chain. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, multiple products. I noticed you speaking in plural. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, obviously we have two brands, so uh, mm -hmm. there's stuff being worked on on both the Ecotech side and the Aqua Illumination side, so um, there's that, and, and there's physical products, which we've been working on, and then there's also, as I was talking about, things involving the software and firmware for the existing products. I think most of the um, leaders in the aquarium space, manufacturing-wise, are all kind of going to this smart things approach, mm -hmm. one way or another. Uh, I'd like to think that ours will be the coolest, um, <laughs> but I'm obviously a little biased. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you started to see some of, of what's in the pipeline was unveiled at, uh, I know Kimura's working on stuff. I know Red Sea's working on some stuff. Neptune's been been working on stuff for a while. But um, you know, we have our own our own flavor and uh, our own objectives in terms of the aquarium equipment. So uh, that's what we're uh, you know going for with that. I know it's very vague, but <laughs> like I said, you won't have to wait much longer for actual hard announcements. Cool. Excellent. I'm sure lots of people are excited. I'm kind of excited to see what's coming up gonna be good what else i to see is there going to be a radio a gen 5 radion um yeah people love to ask this question too <laughs> we are not sure i mean and again this isn't really i can't really speak specifically to it but i mean basically um we are pursuing a number of new types of lighting technologies mm -hmm. Um, or, or ways to use existing lighting technologies, which are a little different to how they're, they're currently being used. Mm -hmm. But um, the reality of it is that uh, in terms of modular fixtures, we're pretty happy with the current uh, Radeon and Aqua Illumination line. Mm -hmm. And really where the market has room for improvement is probably more along the line of equipment sort of aimed at all-in-one systems, those kind of 40 to 180 gallon, you know, sump and cabinet things like Red Sea cells or water box or Innovative Marine. And in those cases, our lighting um, works extremely well, but it can be kind of overkill. It's, it's tailored to work in a lot of different environments. So, um, you know, there's some, some cool stuff there that we're exploring in terms of different different ways to go about lighting. 
No, that's awesome. Uh, as laugh in G Carol's contact, t tell them no J. The Gen Four is already the best on the market. I'm honestly. Well, it is. That's that's true. That I I I was. Uh, Carol said it on me, so. I I'm not. I'm gonna agree. I honestly was like, I don't know what you do to improve this. So it's got to be. I don't know. It's got to take something crazy because I think they're already pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I mean it is. It's four generations deep, and in, in working with that form factor and that technology, the optics, the you know the LED cluster modular type fixture like that, um, you kind of reach these limits with what you can do performance wise. And we've had now four generations of user feedback and experience in, in the market. So I mean that's why you see so many of these uh, these these awesome retailers and aquaculture facilities using. Radions at this point because mm -hmm. of because of that the fact that they're reliable um, you know they provide that that really awesome look and uh, you get you know great great spread so nice. uh, without without it being too much of a sales pitch yeah I'm I'm a big fan of our Radion product mm -hmm. for sure yeah I I wholeheartedly agree on that one's my favorite light I was laughing at a Dream Reefer UK he goes. Um, you guys need to make a dosing pump and a heater controller. Then my whole, then I'll have everything Ecotech. <laughs> yeah, well, dosing pump certainly. I mean, uh, there's not much secret there. That's definitely a product that's queued up for the not too distant future. No. Um, and again, it's it's one of those things where there's a lot of options on the market, and depending on what you're looking for, you know, uh, we'll obviously be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, the best way to kind of describe it is is the pump that, that we're designing for that space is going to be more of a um, multi-use pump yeah. as in it, it has a lot it's a lot more robust than than a lot of what you get on on you know the current all-in-one dosing t dosing systems that are currently out there nice. not to say that any of those are, are bad obviously we, mm -hmm. we all use them including myself and, and i've had great results with those but um, again, it's sort of like when we move into a space, we try to try to do it in a way where we're, we're doing something that gives people a little bit more um, than what's currently out there. So, yep. yeah, dosing pump, no secret on that one. That's definitely a product queued up that we would like to get out the door as quickly as possible. Nice. Um, there was a question in there about it making a wireless app without having to use a reflink. Is there any possibility of that or is it all through the reflink? Um, well, I think, again, I... I <laughs> Yeah, I, I know exactly, uh, <laughs> I can't say anything specifically yeah. to that, but um, yeah, that that's something that you'll start to see, You'll I think everybody will, will understand very quickly by the end of this month mm -hmm. how our product lines and everything are going to be evolving, um, you know, how they're going to be evolving in terms of new control interface. And yeah, I mean, I, I think that that's something that we're all kind of familiar with now is that um, it, internet's great to have offsite control, but the reality of it is that nobody really uses it that much. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the sort of thing that you need in conjunction with a controller. You need reliable inputs, you need feedback so that when you're offsite, you can see what's happening and make changes because there's no real reason to change equipment settings if you can't see what it is that you're doing. <laughs> Um, and as a result, you know, what we're looking to do is, is kind of change that whole mechanism by which you connect and operate your equipment. And, uh, you know, I, I think people will be pretty impressed with, with what we're doing there as it, as it comes out. Johnson Chow's in the chat. Johnson, what is that sad face? I don't think you realize what happened, buddy. You won. <laughs> no need for sad faces. That should be like, hooray. <laughs> that you were the name pick, man. So congratulations there, Johnson Chow. All right. <laughs> yeah, here's your here's your Vectra S1. That's pretty it's got awesome. Your name on it. Look at that. It's already on a sticky note. That's official I now. I do, so I know where it has to go. <laughs> so if you send me the uh, the address, it'll be on its way. Sounds good, Johnson. I'll shoot you an email after that. Yeah, you didn't even know we won. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you joined. It's much more fun than the winner is actually on, so that's awesome. <laughs> so, so one thing I'd ask the user community for people mm -hmm. who are currently running Radions, is anyone running a unique schedule or color combination that they created with good results? Mm. I, on mine, I took the AB Plus and modified it, so mine's kind of a modification of that one. 
but I use that one as kind of my core to build off of. But yeah, yeah they... I mean, that's that's an evident, what I used on my um, recently departed tank. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> it worked very well for me. I, I changed the uh, sunset period to be a little bit different color wise, but other than that, it was pretty much straight. Maybe plus, but I was just wondering. I, I have seen some people do some different stuff recently, and uh, mm -hmm. I think Emo, right? Emo Gerber, um, the guy that, that's obsessed with getting coral color in Germany, yep. has a, quite a different schedule, which shows. No, oh, nice. It'd be interesting to kind of see what it is compare. So, yeah, if yeah, you. We should, we should get, I don't know if he'll give it to us, though. He's, he's a bit defensive. He's secretive? Could, could be wrong, though. All right, so, so far I got Love the AV Plus, use it all my tanks, modified radiant color program. Yeah, that's cool. If you guys do have any extra or you're watching this on the replay, like, let us know in the comments below, because I'm cur kind of curious to you know. I might throw a poll in the Refuse Facebook group as well, so we'll see what people are running. By the way, Devin, is this your clownfish? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> What's his name? Her name? Oh, you name. Yeah, do you want to know? Okay, so before we had a dog, the wife really wanted a furry pet, and she named him Mr. Fluffy Paws. <laughs> it's a very odd name for a fish, but that's his name. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is before we got a puppy. Now that we have one, the fish have more normal names. But <laughs> uh, So, Tra Traver Gamer, so far I've got an Ecotech Marine XR30, G4 Pro, and Reeflink. Still need to order my S1 now. <laughs> I was rooting for you, Travel. I just yeah. like Travel is such an awesome, awesome name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're in it right to the end, buddy. That was close. Yeah, you came right, right down to the wire on that one. But yep. Uh -huh. you know, Johnson was luckier. Yep. Good work, Johnson. <laughs> uh, DM. So he does AV plus and goes up and down from there. Uh, another one says they follow reef wholesale suggestions on lighting an MP40 quiet drive. That was from Mark. Uh, run long periods of high intensity followed by a lower period of intensity and a long period of heavy blue during the evening. I tried doing the up and down spiky thing and I think I um, was a little too intense for some of my plates so they weren't very happy after that. So I went back to my old schedule but I've been doing little bits of experimenting here and there. Uh, so I, I talked to a lot of people in the... Uh, one, one of the things that I think would be cool to try as an experiment is to try the... Um, the accelerated photo period. Mm -hmm. um, so I might actually try and set that up here at our place to try it. And if, if it works successfully, that's potentially a mode that we could put in for people as well um, nice. to, to grow coral faster, particularly when the uh, when the tank's starting out. Um, I I know of somebody who's done a study that said that they were very successful with it. I haven't replicated it myself, so I'd like to see it in person before we start putting it into into modes, but. That would be a pretty cool thing, especially if you're starting out a tank to be able to accelerate that coral growth so it fills in faster. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I like it. That'd be a, that'd be a great one for the to dig into for some experimentation. In, in terms of the spike up and down during the day, I mean, some people swear by that. I think David Saxby in particular is somebody who uses that type of program. Mm -hmm. um, I, again, it's not something I have any experience with myself. I would be interested to see somebody who actually does it in an actual, more of a study context than just uh, subjectively. Because that's a lot of the problems you don't you don't know. I mean, it could also be his dosing or his filtration or how much he feeds the coral or anything else. But he has uh, he has a really spectacular reef tank. If, Mm -hmm. If you uh, if you're ever lucky enough to be in London or, or run into him at a trade show, he's also a very friendly guy, and you might be able to solicit an invitation to go see his tank. Nice. I'll have to find an excuse to make it down there one day. <laughs> um, so everyone in the chat, I'm gonna rope Jay into a future live stream. Um, if you guys have got any specific topics or things you want us to dig into, let me know. I got a few ideas in mind, but Jay, just letting you know, I'm pre-committing you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you guys got any specific questions or topics, I have a couple ideas around lighting and different things that I'm thinking about talking about, but open for anything for suggestions. So if you, anything you guys want to know, let me know in the comments or either after the video ends in the comments and then we'll dig into it. And... Greg, Greg had one question, which I, I mean, I would love to know, um, who, well, who, who I think has had the greatest success with radions. That's, that's tough to say, actually, I could name, there's quite a few people, um, you know, obviously, 
worldwide is probably one of the most outspoken um, Mm -hmm. users of our our equipment and obviously i think their their results speak for themselves um jamie at horniman and uh there's now actually a couple other places which are using our fixtures specifically to spawn coral Mm -hmm. um which is a more advanced use i think you know of, of of lighting um and then you know in terms of getting colors color expression in coral uh i think his name is uh i, I want to say it's emo gerber i think you know him too Devin. i think uh, I the, know german, is. the german guy um i'll i'll provide you with pictures and stuff okay. you know uh and links so that we can put that that in this feed okay um, perfect to some of the stuff he's done but in terms of the, the colors are, are ridiculous yeah and, and sanjay also um obviously is another one mike uses mike paletta uses them mm-hmm. uh, actually i think we just set up a tank at julian sprung's place he wanted to, to to use them as well i'm sure he'll have an absolutely spectacular tank uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, nice uh, yeah fair, fair <laughs> enough i'm i'm with you on that one i know it's it's, it's rough <laughs> it's like i want to i want to tell you guys about everything because it's so exciting yeah. But then the other thing is, is our, you know, sometimes we take longer than I would like to, uh, to get it to market largely because I'm a hobbyist. I want to use it too. So, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> you know, and I, I hate to like tell you about something that's, that's not, you're like something soon, really so. cool is coming, but yeah, that's how you get to know. <laughs> yeah. LPS breeding. That's a good one. Um, I don't actually personally know anyone doing LPS breeding, but there might be, there's probably someone out there. Mm-hmm. Be very cool. It'd be something to look into for sure. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got I nothing assume on it's that. similar to Acropora breeding, but I have no idea. Causing to spawn. Yes. There, Emo Gerber. That's right. Okay. I'm going to look him up after this because I, I think I know he is, but I'm really curious now. Perfect. Uh, I think it's like Area 51 corals, something okay. like that. Okay, perfect. I'll check that one out after. Yeah. Awesome. Well, ho- yeah, hopefully. Very, very cool. He, the colors he gets out, like he, I think the Walt Disney acro was one of his personal. Um, yeah, there you go. Pull a few up. Yeah, Area 51. So he's got some pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's that's his thing is color expression, mm-hmm. and uh, and I, I think on actually on the if I remember on his blog or something, I mean, he'll tell you he tells you what the camera settings and everything were that he took him with, so you know, nice, but and interesting, interesting stuff. Yeah, no, very cool. Definitely check him out later. Well, All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for having us and congratulations again to the winner. Hopefully we can do another, another giveaway. Hopefully we should do one when there is a new product. Oh, sold. All right. We'll do something fun. (laughs) All right, Jay. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody that entered and participated in the contest. A lot of fun. I guess if you guys enjoyed this, as always smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks guys. Thanks Jay.